Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify a given number is Armstrong number or not. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss how can you verify a given number is Armstrong number or not. Let me take a simple example. I will take a number 153. First step is that you need to compute the number of digits in it how many digits are there? Three digits are there. Now take the individual digit and compute three, the digit power the number of digits. The digit is three power the number of digits plus take the digit five power of this one plus take the digit power of number of digits which is equal to three. So let me discuss again. You need to compute the number of digits and take the individual digits power of the number of digits. So if you compute the sum, 3 cube is 27, 5 cube is 125 plus 1 cube is 1 which is equal to 153. Now sum of individual digits power of number of digits is equal to the given number. Then you can say that it is an Armstrong number. Let me discuss one more example. Let's take the triple 2. Or let's take the 22 itself. How many digits are there? The number of digits are 2. So you will take the individual digit 2 power the number of digits plus again the next digit 2 power number of digits is equal to 2. So 2 power 2 is 4. 4 2 power 2 is 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 22 is not equal to 8. I will say that 22 is not a Armstrong number. Let me write it in shortcut as an, but 153 is an Armstrong number. Let me discuss one more example, 1789, okay, you compute it. How many digits are there? Number of digits are 4, is it clear? So 9 power 4 plus 8 power 4 plus 7 power 4 plus 1 power 4, which will be what? 9 power 4 is what? 81 into 81. If you compute it, it will be 1, 16, 5, 6. So here itself you are getting a number greater than this one. If you compute the addition, which will be not equal to 1789. So I can say that 1789 is not an Armstrong number. This is the way you can verify whether a given number is Armstrong number or not. Now let me discuss how to write the python program. Now what I will do is that I will ask the user to enter the value. So I will take n is equal to if I want to read any value from the user I need to use the function called input. So enter a number. For simplicity I will consider a three digit number. Okay and then this input function will return in the form of string. I want to convert into an integer, so I will write int. Okay, so I'm doing the typecasting here. So this program can be done in two ways. I will discuss for you. Now let's take that user has entered 153. So n value will be 153. Now what I will do is that if I consider this as a string, each digit can be a each character. Am I right? This is the one way you can do, but this is not the right way, but I will discuss this one. So what I will do is that I will convert into a string. So let me write it as string is equal to R2 string is equal to, I want to do the typecasting str of n. So now 153 will be converted into a string and it is stored in a variable called to string. Then what I will do is that for i in to string are you able to understand then what i am doing is that i am taking a one variable called sum and i will make it is equal to zero sum is equal to zero then what i will write here is that sum is equal to sum plus okay power p o w of i comma 3 i am considering it as the user has entered only three digits if you want to run for any number of digits you can compute the length of the string here 
are able to understand using the function called LVN. That modification you can do it. So sum is equal to sum of plus power of 1 comma 3. So which is nothing but you are computing 3 into 3 into 3 which will be 127 and you are adding it. Now what I will do is that if sum is equal to equal to n I will print Armstrong number. else I will print not a Armstrong number. Look at here what will happen. Let us take that user has taken the n value is 153. That 153 you are converting into a string and stored in a variable called to string. For i in to string, so first it will be 1 will be considered. Okay. So sum is equal to sum plus 1 comma 3. So which is nothing but 1 into 1 into 1 it will be considered. 1 into 1 into 1 will be 1. So sum plus 1. Sum value initially 0. So 0 plus 1 will be 1. Now sum will be consists of value 1. Then again this loop will be run. Now i value you will get 5. So so what will happen sum is equal to sum plus sum value is 1 power of i comma 3 so 5 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 125 125 plus 1 is 126 now sum will consist of 126 then you will get 3 okay i will consist of now 3 sum is equal to sum plus sum value is how much 126 plus 3 into 3 into 3 which is equal to 27 127 plus 26 will be 153 that you are storing in a variable called sum now you are verifying sum is 153 n value user has entered as 153 153 is equal to 153 yes Armstrong number will be printed suppose let's take that user has entered 143 then it will be sum will be how much after executing 1 cube will be 1 4 cube will be how much 64 plus 3 cube will be 27 am I right so 65 plus 27 65 plus 27 12 92 so 92 is not equal to 143 then it will print not an Armstrong number this is the one way you can do it, but this is not the right way. Okay, now let me write another procedure to come check whether a given number is Armstrong number or not. Now let me write the program. Again, the user has to enter the n value, enter a number, and it has to store in the variable called n. So that's why I did not wipe out this statement. Now look at here. I will take sum is equal to 0. Then what I will do is that while n okay are you able to understand then what i will do i will start the indentation then n is equal to n modulus 10 is it clear suppose let's take that user has entered n value is equal to 153 so 153 modulus 10 you will get the 3 uh, let me write here instead of n because i don't want to save it in the n let me write it as sum i. i is equal to n modulus 10. So i will consist of value 3. Now what I need to do, I need to write sum is equal to sum plus, okay, i multiplication multiplication 3 like this you can write or i into i into i you can write or power of i comma power of i comma 3 also you can write it is it clear are you able to understand just for simplicity let me write it as i into i into i because i am considering that the user will enter only three digits if you want to verify for any number of digits you can modify the program okay sum is equal to i into i into i then n is equal to 10 okay 
Now what will happen? You verify it. Now initially n value is 153. Okay. Now i is equal to 153 modulus 10. The remainder you will get. Remainder will be 3. So i will consist of value 3. Now sum is equal to sum plus. Sum value is 0 plus 3 into 3 into 3 which is 27. So 0 plus 27 sum will consist of value 27. Are you able to understand? Now what will happen? n is equal to n integer division by 10. So 153 division by 10 you will get n value is equal to 15. Now while n is 15 again the condition is true. So i is equal to n modulus 10. 15 modulus 10 if you do it you will get the remainder as 5 so i will consist of value called 5 here now sum is equal to sum plus i into i into i which is 27 plus 5 into 5 into 5 will be 27 plus 125 which is equal to 152 now sum will consist of value 152 here now n is equal to n integer division by 10 so n value is 15 15 integer division by 10 you will get the n value is 1 so now n value will be updated to 1 now n is 1 so while 1 again the condition is true i is equal to 1 modulus 10 so i will become 1 here because 1 modulus 10 you will get the remainder as 1 now sum is equal to sum plus sum value is how much 152 so 152 plus 1 into 1 into 1 which will be 1 so 152 plus 1 will be 153 now sum will consist of value 153 okay now look at here n is equal to 1 integer division by 10 you will get 0 so while 0 the condition will be failed so now you want to look at here sum is equal to is equal to n if i write what will happen sum will be 153 but n value will become 0 am i right so that's why what you can do is that somewhere you can save the original number n before this one also am i right some original number or something original is equal to n you can write it so whatever the n value you are storing in a variable called original so now you will compare sum with original if it is so what will be printing? Print am strong number. Else print not a am strong number. I hope it is clear for you. If you still have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. For better understanding, let me execute both the programs in the Jupyter Notebook and we will verify whether we are getting the correct output or not. Let me take a variable called n and I want to read the n value from the user. So, I will use the input function. Inside the input function, I will write a statement called entry value. And you know that input function will return everything in the form of string. So I want to convert into an integer, so I am doing the type casting. Then I will take a variable called sum and initialize it to 0. Then I will take another variable called to string and convert that n value in the form of string. So I am written str of n. Now for i in to string, okay. Then I will write sum is equal to sum plus POW. I want to convert that i into an integer. So that's why I'm writing it. Then it will be 3. Okay. Now what I want to do, I want to verify if sum is equal to equal to n or not. If sum is equal to equal to n, then I want to print the number is an Armstrong number. So else if sum is not equal to n i want to print not an armstrong number now let me run the code for better understanding i will take 153 okay 
and let me press the enter i will get an output as armstrong number see look at what i am doing is that once the user is entering 153 i am converting into integer and then i am converting into a string and that string i am storing in a variable called to string so for i in to string so i am taking each character by character in the string and that will be the character will be stored in a variable called i now sum is equal to sum plus power of this i is having a character okay so that i am converting into an integer and then i am applying the power function and then finally i am verifying sum is equal to equal to n or not if sum is equal to equal to n i am checking that it is an armstrong number let me run the code again let me take the value as 152 and let me press the enter this time we are getting it as a not an armstrong number now let me write the another program for better understanding i am doing small modifications the first statement i am considering same as it is then i am taking another variable called original there i will store the n value and i am taking another variable called sum i will initialize to zero then i will take the while loop while n and i am writing the statements i is equal to n modulus 10 then sum is equal to sum plus p o w i comma 3 now i am doing n is equal to n integer division 10 okay then i am writing if sum is equal to equal to original then i will print it is an armstrong number else else i want to print it is not an armstrong number okay look at here not an armstrong number now let me run the code for better understanding let me take the number as 153 if i press the enter i will get it as an armstrong number let me run the code again and this time i want to give the value as 123 it will be not an armstrong number say i got the output as not an armstrong number i hope you have understood these two programs still if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day